Hi, my name is Micah Solusad, and I'm the voice actor for Darian, one of the main characters in Edge of Eternity. It's my great pleasure to be your host for this gameplay commentary. This will be a chance for a full recap of the game, Edge of Eternity, just a few months prior to its release. Pretty cool, right? So without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, we begin this walkthrough in a clockwork field, uh, one of the zones devastated by the mysterious corrosion. This land, Harrion, has been at war for 15 years now against a mysterious invader from the depths of space called the Archolites. Now, the Archolites have finally realized they won't be able to conquer Harrion as easily as they thought they would, so they have used a biological weapon on their enemy. And that's what you can see here, the corrosion. In this game, you play as Darian and his sister, Selene. Our two heroes have set off to find a cure for the corrosion to save the life of their mother. And the rest of the world too, while they're at it, you know, no big deal. Edge of Eternity is a JRPG that Midgar Studios has been developing since 2016. The original project team had just four people, but now has grown to include 15 or so developers. The game has been in early access since January of 2019, and has been updating its story and gathering feedback from the community to improve the game's quality. And after about two years in early access, we are now thrilled to announce the game's PC release on June 8th, followed by a console release in the final quarter of 2021. Anyway, let's move on. Like most JRPGs, you can roam freely through the vast world and discover all kinds of treasures and hidden corners. Oh hey, look! A chest. I wonder what's inside. It contains a weapon for Darien! Interesting! Why don't we go and test it out on a monster? Let's head somewhere that's slightly less depressing. You know, lighten up the mood a bit. These portals allow you to travel to other places on the map, which is quite handy considering the size of this open world. And here we are, on the Caledon Coast, a peaceful area where dozens of crashed Archolite ships have washed up during the war. There are beaches like this one, but also plains, forests, jungles, and cities. You'll even find gigantic wrecked spaceships where locals reside in. The world of Harrion is vast, and serves as the backdrop where all of the story's action takes place. This beach is really big, it's gonna take way too long to walk. Why don't we call over the game's star animal? The Nekaru! Yeah! These creatures aren't just cute, they're also very good at sniffing out buried treasure, and they can even help you track down certain people or objects on special quests. But of course, more importantly, above everything else, you can pet your Nekaru. <laughs> One could say that it's a perfect feature. Get it? Because... <clears throat> uh, hey, so you can have Darien travel most of the world's great open spaces on the back of this magnificent beast. Once you play the game, you'll quickly discover how trustworthy they are. But enough with the small talk. Time to get down to business. For the purpose of this walkthrough, we've buffed up a monster in this area in order to demonstrate the battle mechanics. This Metacarnicerus looks like he could use a good beating. But before that, we need to properly prepare. Remember that new sword we picked up for Darien? Let's use it. This is the Edge of Eternity menu. You can manage your inventory, see the progression of your team members, and of course, view their equipment. So, let's equip Darien with the sword from earlier. Okay, now, let's add some crystals. In Edge of Eternity, there are crystals you can find in-game that allow you to improve the stats of your characters and unlock spells and elemental attacks. For example, if you equip Darien with this Thunder Crystal, it'll unlock the Thunder Strike attack. If you take a look at Selene's setup, you can see she uses different combinations of crystals to upgrade things like her magic, her constitution, and unlock new spells. Each weapon can have different combinations of crystals, so it's up to you to choose the one that suits you best. Now that we've gone over all the equipment, 
Let's take a look at the placement of our characters on the battlefield. Edge of Eternity has a battle system that is a mix of turn-based and ATB gauge tactical combat based on a hexagonal grid, as you can see on the screen. The position of the characters and enemies on the Nexus grid will heavily affect the fight. Currently on our team, we have Darian with a powerful attack and good health, Yasaurus, who specializes in grouped attacks and tanking, Myrna, specializing in quick double-hitting elemental attacks, and Selene, the priestess of the group with destructive magic attacks. In this story, you can have up to six characters joining your team. With the way that this fight is shaping up, it would be best to put Selene at the rear. And now, we're good to go. Let's fight! Now, if you want, you can still move your characters around mid-combat. For example, that ballista on the battlefield could be quite useful. Let's move Yasaurus there. <sighs> I'd like to take a moment to appreciate the marvelous soundtrack composed by Yasunori Mitsuda. It's pretty epic, don't you think? Now that we've given that Metacarnissimus a solid first hit, let's keep up the pressure. We can use that Thunderstrike attack we unlocked with the crystal earlier. And boom! Got him! And bam! That should keep him quiet for a while. Throughout the game, you'll find loads of other objects and items that you can use in a fight. We'll let you discover those yourself. Take that! Just a little more to go. Take this! Let's finish him off in style with Celine's special attack. <clears throat> you can launch one of these powerful attacks once you've taken or inflicted enough damage. The battle is complete! And so is our walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. On behalf of the whole Midgar Studios team and myself, thank you for your interest in Edge of Eternity. The game will be released on PC on June 8th, and then on consoles at the end of the year with all of the improvements from the PC version. If you like the game, remember to add it to your Steam wishlist or even grab the early access version while there's still time. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you soon in the world of Harrion.